Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Rush XD here, and welcome, guys, back to another plugin showcase. Wait, say plugin showcase is on the plugin Pro Skywars. It's really nifty, really cool, and really simple to set up. Of course, this is an updated video because the other one I recorded it and it didn't have so many updates like this one. It is working perfectly now. I do recommend because it is a great plugin to have on your server and just play some Skywars with your friends and kill them for coins. Cause that's what every good friend does all right so i'm going to show you guys how to set it up of course i have my arena right here and i have my main lobby and lobby right there because why not and you don't want to put them this close together this is just an example um so of course video purposes only don't do what i did here you want to keep them really far away from each other so people don't see this big hunk of mess right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start creating an arena so fly to the higher top of the arena slash arena wand and i'll give you a wand i'm going to do slash up one so i can select this area here and you want to go diagonally down and you're gonna select the next position. It's basically world edit. It's really quite simple. I went all the way down. Make sure you go all the way to the void, because trust me, it's worth it. You want to make sure you go all the way to the void, the zero zero. So basically, I'm gonna go up one, so I can select this. Okay, there we go. So got the next position selected. You want to right click then left click. All right. All right. After that, we have every position. Um, you want to select the first and second corner by left clicking, right clicking. So what you would do is slash arena create. And you want to give it a name so i'm going to name it ted there we go so after that we can start putting the min and max players so all we got to do is slash arena set min teams and then your arena name ted and then you're going to select the minimal so in this case it's going to be two now we set the minimal we got to set the max so i'm going to change two to about one two three how many how many how many are even here 12 okay we're going to do 12 because why not so i'm going to set the min the max to 12 i'm going to change min to max Slash arena set team size and then Ted well, or your arena name and then you put one, two, three, depending on how much people you want in each cage. It's really quite simple like that if you want teams or not. But one is solo and zero is basically your lone surf. There's no game at all. I'm just kidding. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add each single spawn to these arena. It's quite a bit of work indeed. So I'm going to show you guys how to add one. You, of course, you want to put the same height for each one so it's fair enough. So I'm just going to put here on... 45 there we go so you want to choose the same area and i gotta do this for a whole total of three three six nine math okay so i gotta do this for 12 arenas in total so i gotta do is here is i'm gonna select one position do slash arena add spawn and then your arena name and then you gotta repeat that process of course knowing it won't go random but i'm doing this for review purposes but you want to add the spawns randomly so it goes random so the people will spawn at random and not one next to each other another one 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 okay here we go we set 12 spawns if you want to try add another one it will not allow you because you don't have enough spawns perfect that means i set each one as point so here's another thing this is more of the config you have to set the chest types i already done so i'm going to show it on the screen right now so you guys can see it but i changed my chest to be named tier one tier two and tier three and i'm just going to be putting that for each spawn now you could just go up to the chest and do the command so you can add the items in the in the chest but there's a snazzier and more easier way to do it so for that i gotta do a slash arena chest wand now i put tier one tier two because you can put the refill chest so for this i'm going to put tier one and then the refill chest tier two and of course before all that you got to put your arena name so ted there we go and i'm going to get this one right here so i just got to go and select each one and it's going to be quite a lot of work cue the boring montage all right there we go i said every single chest didn't miss a single one and now what we're going to do is also set the mid one so i'm going to put tier three as the last one and tier two because the mid chest always had to have more loot for some reason. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna select these and make sure not to break stuff. What we can do here is set the spectators. So for this arena, set spectators spawn, and in your arena name, there we go. So we we added spectators. Okay, so everything in the arena is completely done and nice and sparkle clean. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the main lobby and the lobby for this video purposes only. I'm going to set the main lobby and the lobby in the same place, but you don't want to do that because I'm just lazy, all right? So what you're going to do is set main lobby. This will be to set the main lobby. Every time the game ends, you're going to be teleported to here. Set main lobby and then your arena name. So that's going to be setting the main lobby. And now we also got to set the lobby. So for this, all you got to do is set lobby it's gonna set the lobby for when you're waiting for the game to start so i'm gonna do it also here and there we go we just set that up 
All right, I'm gonna show you guys a few things that you can add for the plugin that's really nice, such as Soul Wells. So basically, all you gotta do is go on top of a end frame and you gotta do slash SW add mystery box. If I could spell that right. And there we go, it's gonna be adding the mystery box right there. If you right click it, ain't nothing gonna happen because I ain't got enough souls. All right, so for the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to add signs. It's really quite simple. All you gotta do is put a sign down and this is gonna be to join your, your arena. So all you gotta do is put bracket SW close bracket and your arena name on the next line. Make sure if it's capitalized, you put capitalized well. For mine, it isn't, so I just click done and it's gonna show you with this nice fancy glass showing if it's enabled or not. And I can join it right now. But I don't want it because I'm gonna continue adding the signs. So I gotta do the next one. For this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to add the auto join. So you gotta do is put bracket SW close bracket and then put auto join. And then that will put you to auto join the game, I guess. Re really. That's pre pretty simple. Bracket SW close bracket auto join and then team under it. And there you go. That would join you to auto teaming. So basically if a game more than two players, it's gonna auto join for that one. And then we can also add, of course, leaders. So I'm going to show you how to add it. So bracket, SW, close bracket. And then what you want to put here is top. And then the next one, you put the status. So for this one, put wins. And then put one and blow. Now you can do this for block breaks, block plays, wins, loss, coins, and souls. But I'm going to show you guys how to add a simple one. There's more information on the page. So I got to put that. And it's going to load it up. And guess what? Who's in first place? Me. Because I'm the only person that plays on this server. I'm lonely, very lonely indeed. Now, if you do slash SW join, that will show you up every single arena you have. Now, if I click it, I'm gonna end up joining. You're gonna get all these fancy items right here. I actually like it. So you have the kid selector, you have every, wait, well, not kid selector. If you have about every kid, you can change it in the config, of course, adding or removing them. Yeah, and I'm not gonna go for every one of them because it's quite a bit. Uh, you have the kid selector, so right here as well. And then you have the shop. Here you can buy all your fancy little stuff and trails, perks, custom cages kits and then status and coins you have which I don't have any those are auto broadcasters saying cheaters will be punished that's right little cheaters and then you can also leave the lobby it'll give you three seconds to decide if you actually want to leave and yeah so there we go I left nice and done and I've been sent to the main lobby of course and it works out perfect I'm gonna go over to the config and I'm gonna show you guys a few things over there all right so here we are in the plugins folder all you guys do is go into plugins and then you want to go over here to Pro Skywars. Now, since you're here, I'm going to show you guys about everything. Not exactly how to set up and configure. I'm just going to which the basics, what you need. So right here, we have chest types, which is the most important. And the chest types is what you can do to change the items that are in the chest, of course. So right here, you can see all the materials I use for my chest. And it's going to be random, of course. You add a percentage. So for this, I just did wood and then the mount and then the percentage. Of course, there are an explanation right up here showing you guys how to do it. Even you can add custom names, enchantments, more enchantments, and overall a lot of stuff. So I'm not going to go fully into this because it's quite a lot. But of course, it's explaining everything right up here. If you guys want a full explanation of this video, maybe we can go for a light goal. I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in the comments. Okay, so right here we have arenas. You don't really need to mess with this unless you forgot something probably. So right click it and... Of course, I'm using Notepad++, so this will inform you everything about the arena. I really don't need to mess with this, to be honest. So, broadcaster, this is where the auto broadcaster comes in, and it can tell you basically what, what's going on. So, this one here is saying cheaters will be punished, found a bug, and this will be broadcasting every moment. Next thing you have is the cages. Here you can set the cages. I'm not going to go in because it's really quite obvious and simple. Um, then we're going to config, which is the most important part. So in a config, this is really cool. You can add join items. So you can enable this to true and then you can put the world name and then every time a player joins, they're going to have these custom join items in their inventory. So like for shops and kits and everything like that, they're going to be in their inventory set up and easy to use. You can also enable Bungie and uh, my SQL here and every about everything, lobby time, rewards, and then Bungie mode here, saving tasks placeholder API and overall a lot of stuff. Then again you have the kits, the messages, the mystery box, and the perks, signs, and trails. Not really have to go full in details. Those are the same thing as the cages. If you guys want to edit them, go ahead. It's not really necessary because the developer actually put a few in them for you. But of course again, if you're curious and you want to go ahead, just feel free. It's all yours. You bought the plugin, it's on you. So there we go guys. That was Pro Skyways. Really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smack the like button down below. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe because I don't know, maybe you found something amusing. Maybe found my face amusing. How dare you. Alright, so I'm the Rush XD and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.